Hi everybody, welcome to my craft room. This is Miss Judy and <clears throat> I wanted to do another um, video showing you another mini album from the new art booking close to my heart Cricut cartridge that will be available to order uh, August the 1st from close to my heart. Uh, I have catalogs that I've been mailing to customers and I would be happy to mail a catalog to anyone who would like to have one. Um, all you have to do is uh, send me a message with your name and address. Uh, you can do it through YouTube or you can do it through email. Um, <clears throat> and I will get one out to you as soon as possible. Uh, the idea books are wonderful. They have all the product, of course. They have the new cartridge. But they also are filled with great ideas on how to use product, um, things you can um, make with actual close to my heart, um, things that you would purchase, but also things that you can make with, with your stash that you have on hand. Well, my project for today, of course, I had to head right to the baby mini album. It is on page um, 50 and 51. And I'm gonna show you what I've done because I cut this out using black and white because I was originally thinking, well, I'll just do this as a sample so that I can see what everything is that's in this um, cartridge mini album. So for the first um, page 50, I have not done the titles yet, but you can pretty well see what the titles are. But I have done the photo map one, which is the page that's plain. It's got your um, holes. And the shift button is the page and then it has a little baby sticking out. <clears throat> On page 51, you get a matte a page that has scalloped edges and you get another matte page that has a little scallopy thing on the outside of it. So here are four pages starting with like a plain page, page with baby, scalloped edges, another one that has a little piece that's sticking out. Then when you get into your photo mat two with this cartridge, that's when you get some of these really, really precious envelope type um, pockets that you can use. And I'll show you what those are. Um, let's see. Photo mat one is, yeah, this one right here. Photo mat, I mean, I'm sorry, photo mat two. It's this really cute envelope and it has the holes where you can put it into your album. Uh, anywhere you wanted to and then it would open up and you could decorate each side and you can decorate this um, and of course it can fit anywhere you want it to in your in your scrapbook I mean your mini album you would just lay it in and match the holes okay then I'm going to turn this one like this then um, the um, shift on the photo mat to on page 50 is a pocket that folds in and it's not one with holes but you know you could put holes in here and have this a pocket that fit right into the, the holes in your scrapbooking page or you can attach it somewhere on a page 
and have a pocket for things that you might want to put in there. It could go on the side, it could go in the middle, it could go just about anywhere you wanted it to go. So that's the photo two and the shift. Now on page 51, your photo mat two, move these out of the way, is this really, really neat pocket uh, envelope page also that has the holes where you can slip it right into your your book, your album that you're working on and you can just put it anywhere you might want to. And you would have um, an envelope type um, page that would go in there. Then on the shift button with that one, you get another um, envelope when you put it together and you can slide things in. You could leave this up at the top. You can have it as a flap. You could even put a couple of holes down here because this would fit right in here and then that would be a uh, part of your scrapbook that had an envelope. Now, the other parts that I have cut out are the borders. And I cut the border on page 50. And you really, I need to get a piece of something white. Let me find the one that I was gonna do with this. Yeah, okay. You get the border, and you get a tag that has that zigzag part. So this is all, oh, I forgot to tell you, this is all cut at eight inches, and I cut it on my expression too. When we get it into the craft room, I might make this one again and make it a little smaller because it would be a really cute little mini album. But you get the border, you get a tag. The tag could be attached on here. It could be attached in the middle. Uh, it could be uh, put, you could put a pocket on here and have the tag in here with some ribbon. Um, you could use one of these. I think that, yeah, this will fit into here. And there's all kinds of ways that you could use this one. So this is the border and the tag on page 50. Then on page 51, the border and tag have more of the scallopy look to it. And I thought, well, that would be really cute on probably this page. Um, and it could go again, it could go anywhere you wanted it to go. You, you could cut two. You could put them down here. You could put them as a little piece that's sticking out. You could put it at the top that's sticking out and just glue it right in here and have it sticking out some at the top. There's just all kinds of things that you can do with this again. So the last part I wanna show you is the overlays. And on page 50, the overlay looks like, um, let me get a piece of white, Look, looks like um, lattice work. And you get one that is this size, all these again are cut at eight inches, and then you get another one that you can cut that is the um, full page size. So you have an option there where you can cut the large, and use somewhere and then you have an option where you can use the smaller piece anywhere on a page that you wanted to do you could put it in the middle I mean it, it's just unbelievable what you can do with these projects and how easy it makes it um, okay the other overlay that's on page 51 has the holes in it this looks like a mat with holes 
you get the large, and you get the small. And you can cut both of these out of one half of a sheet of 12 by 12 paper. You can also cut out both of these half a sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So it's not wasteful for your paper. Theoretically, you could do um, both of those overlays, the small and the large, um, with one piece of 12 by 12 paper. Now, I have not cut out either the icons. Um, page 50, you have a little giraffe. Cute, cute, cute. Page 51, you have a lion. And then you also have, for the words, Oh Baby, and you have My First, and you have Smiles, and you have Little One. And so this is just an idea from the baby one. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Since I did cut all this out in black and white, and I have a friend whose daughter recently married, and I know they have tons of pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make this for her, and I'm just going to cut cut off the letters and I'm going to take my punch um, and I'm going to punch down the side and oops and get a little sweet little border for this one. And I'm using, um, hmm, well, oh, geez, I don't even know the name of this punch. Had it a long time, it's one of my favorites. This is Scallopy Punch. You all probably have it too. <laughs> and I have made an error, a really big time error, because I wish that I had saved the names for my punches, but I didn't. But let me show you one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take one of the plain pages and run it through the cuddle bug. And I told you in my other um, video yesterday that I have a prize I'm doing, a gift I'm doing to customers who order during um, August and September, and I am going to give away a cuddle bug machine. It is from Ann Griffith, it's the gold machine, and I have it in hand, and I'm going to um, give that away, and yeah, I'm going to just take one of my Cuddlebug folders, and what I'm going to do is just run it through half. Let's see, I believe I'm going to turn it this way so that, yeah, and this will fit on the um, Cuddlebug machine if you're wondering about the size on this one. And like I said, this is cut at uh, eight inches. So I'm going to put this in. Um, and then I have a nice embossed piece and I probably all right we're going to experiment girls I'm not much of a risk taker but I'm going to be a risk taker on this one I'm going to try 
and see what happens. Ooh, if I match this up, hold your breath now, okay? I am not, like I said, much of a risk taker, but we're going to take a risk on this one. We're gonna try something. Put it through one way. And then, let's see what happens. I'm sorry, this is so, oh yeah, almost. <laughs> I need to practice. I need to practice on lining that up. So I think I'm going to run off another one of these pages and then I'm going to practice. But you can see where it does line up and it would be nice on that. Uh, another thing I can do is just trim because it doesn't matter in these albums. It does not matter if they are all the same size pages. That's what's wonderful and versatile about this. So what I've done is I've taken the baby um, mini album, cut it at eight inches, and I did not cut the titles, I did not cut the icons, but I cut all the other things and I'm going to convert it into another kind of album, an album for a wedding celebration that um, someone can use. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this is helping you because it certainly is helping me to be, um, more um, comfortable using this cartridge. It is cool. It is full of great stuff. Now I have to figure out how to put them all together and put the um, finishing touches on. So I'll be back with another video on another uh, mini album that's in here. Um, I'll be doing the first one, which is called, hmm, ah. 8x8 eight eight travel mini and I believe I will use it as a travel so I'll be back later guys thanks so much for watching my video today I love talking to all of you and I love talking to myself ta-ta